All right, well, I'm my Black Panthers Act, so part to the people. This is the next book that we're going to read. Uh, the Mini Manual of the Urban Gorilla by Carlos Magarella. Also includes problems and principles of strategies and questions of organization. And interviews with liberated Brazilian political prisoners. And originally written in 1969 by Carlos Magalera, one of the leaders of the Brazilian guerrilla organization National Liberation Action, ALA. The mini manual of the urban guerrilla is probably one of the most famous documents to come out of the guerrilla struggles in Latin America. Widely reprinted and translated into numerous languages, it became a guide for many guerrilla movements around the world and the massive technological changes that uh, reshaped the world. Many parts of the mini manual have become dated and, in some cases, completely irrelevant. Nonetheless, it does not serve. It does serve as a framework for urban guerrilla strategies and tactics when adapted to the current world situation. It also serves as a historical cautionary tale when looking back at the many failed urban guerrilla movements. This edition includes two other documents by Margarella, Problems and Principles of Strategies and Questions of Organization, as well as a 1970 interview with liberated Brazilian political prisoners from several different Brazilian guerrilla organizations. Finally, a chronological, a chronologic, chron chronology of the guerrilla struggles in Brazilian in Brazil from 1964 to 1973. It's better to err acting than to do nothing for fear of erring without initiative. There is no guerrilla war warfare. Facts. That was the cover. Just gonna read the next page and come back with some tomorrow. The mini manual of the Urban Gorilla. Page three. I would like to make a twofold dedication of this work first to the memories of Edison Sato Marco. Antonio Bras de Carvalho, Antonio Carvalho, <laughs> Nelson Jose de Almeida, Escatero, and so many other heroic fighters and urban guerrillas who fell at the hands of the assassins of the military police, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the DOS, DOP. Hated instrument of the repressive military dictatorship. Second, to, to the brave comrades, men and women in prison in the medieval dungeons of the Brazil government and subjected to torture that even suppressed the horrendous crimes carried out by the Nazis. Like those comrades whose memories were we revere and as well as those taken prisoner in combat, what we must do is fight. Each comrade who opposes the military dictatorship and wants to oppose it can do something. However small the ta task may seem, I urge all who read this mini manual to decide that they cannot remain inactive, to follow its instructions, and to join the struggle now. I ask this because, under any theory and under any circumstances, the duty of every revolutionary is to ma make the revolution. Another important point is not really to read this mini manual here. You know, but to circulate its contents. This circulation will be possible if those who agree with it, its ideas, make photocopies, photocopy copies, and print in a booklet. Although, in this later case, armed struggle itself will be necessary. Printing in a booklet, make black and white copies, just like I did. You know, so many people too. I'm a little bingo, really. <laughs>
Um, finally, the reason why this mini manual bears my signature is that the ideas expressed by systematic, systemized, or systemized to reflect the personal experiences of a group of people engaged in armed struggles in Brazil, among whom I have the honor to be included, so that certain individuals <laughs> will have no doubts about what this mini manual says and can no longer not the fact of, or continue to say that the conditions for armed struggle do not exist. It is necessary to assume responsibility for what is said and done. Therefore, anonymity becomes a problem in a work like this. The, the important fact is that there are patriots prepared to fight like soldiers, and the more there are, the better. The accusation of violence and terrorism no longer has the negative meaning it used to have. It has acquired new clothing, new color. It does not divide. It does not discredit. Or, on the contrary, it represents a center of attraction. Today, to be violent or terrorist is a quality that ennobles any honorable person because it is an act worthy of revolutionary engaged in armed struggle against the shameful military dictatorships and its atrocities. Carlos Magdalena, 1969. Yeah. Shout out to all my hip hop, urban gorillas in <laughs> hip hop, taking over the hip hop. It's a hip hop revolution. All my hip hop revolutionaries. See y'all later. Parts of people. <laughs>